God's people, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Living the Life show. I pray that this week's video so far has been a true encouragement to you. Don't forget that if you are blessed, what I would ask of you is to share the videos with others. Let me, or help me, I should say, encourage as many people as possible. That's my life mission, and I need you to help me make that happen. Let's check out today's post. It says here, what God is going to do in your life will surpass human understanding and will leave people saying it had to be God. It had to be God. Let's look at the verse that I chose to connect with today's post. This is Matthew 8, 27, and it says, the disciples were amazed. Who is this man? They asked. Even the winds and waves obey him. Now, in today's section of scripture, the disciples are out on the boat with Jesus. They're terrified because the storm is so heavy that they believe they're going to die in the storm. Now, get you get this. This is what I've always loved. Four of his disciples are fishermen, which means they have grown up on the water, which means they've seen storms. And for these four to be scared, these four to be nervous, these four to be fearful that their life will be taken due to the storm tells you how crazy this storm must have been. Jesus is underneath the sleeping in the ship a few decks down and they rush down to get Jesus because they're terrified and they're wake, wake up, Jesus. Don't you care that we're about to die? And Jesus gets up and he walks out. And he looks at the wind, he looks at the rain, he looks at the, 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 the turmoil of this storm. And he speaks to it. He says, peace be still. And when he says that, the wind cease, the rain stops falling, and everything calms down. And his disciples look at each other and they say, who is this man? Now, mind you, they've seen other things. They've seen him turn water into wine. They've seen other things. But this, who is this guy that even the winds and waves obey him? I've never seen anything like it. And see, God is positioning us. This is why God moves in our life. This is why God chooses to do, to do things the way he does in our lives, because he wants others to see the power that he has and what he will do in the life of anyone that will surrender to him. Because people will look at your life and they will say, that ain't the same so-and-so, so-and-so. That's not the old so-and-so, so-and-so. That's not the same guy. That's not the same lady. They have changed. Only God could have done that in their life. The greatest compliment that we could give God or that we could render to God is for us to live in such a way that people will see our lights and glorify our Father in heaven. And what God wants to do in your life on a daily basis is to shock the world and let the world look at you and say, that had to be God. There's no way that that happened in their life except God did it. There's no way that they were able to accomplish that in life except God did it. And I want, I want God to do in my life what God desires to do in my life. The greatest thing we can do to honor God is to live a life of obedience that will allow him to continue to shock the world through our lives. He wants to work in your life. Will you let him? Will you surrender? Will you throw up your hands and say, I've had enough of doing it my way I want to do things your way, Lord. I submit to you, I surrender to you. Now have your way in my life. So the whole world will see and they will have to admit, one, there is a God, and two, that God is leading my life. It's the greatest compliment that we could give our God. Hmm, another day in the books. I pray that this encourages your heart. If you were encouraged, don't forget, click that thumbs up button and share today's video. Last time I said two, today, 
three. You got to share today's video with three people, three people you love, three people you want to see encouraged, three people that you see God working in their life. All right. Share with those people that they need to be reminded. God is working in you. I see it. You might not even see it, but I see it. And I want to commend you on allowing God to work in your life. All right. God bless you guys. Don't forget, if you'd like to order a copy of Recap, check out the description of this video. Watch it, share it, and live it. Now let's get busy living the life. God bless you.